Hello, today I'm going to teach you a very simple origami. It's called the talking dog. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's finished. And this is how the dog talks. You can make him open his mouth and you can make him go ruff, ruff, ruff. or you could make him, hey, how's it going? Uh, but anyway, that's our final product. So here we go. So for origami, we always, almost always want to start with a square. So just a reminder of how we get there, we take a rectangle piece of paper, we fold it over nice and straight along that edge, making sure that corner is split in half, and then we drag our finger along the edge, make a nice sharp fold, so we have that triangle there. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut off what I like to call the bookmark, and save it for later use for something else. And now we have what looks like a triangle, but in fact, it's a square if you open it up. All right, so for the talking dog, the first thing we do is make that fold, which we've already made. And now we're going to open it up and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna make the same fold across here. So we're gonna put another fold here, bring those points together and slide across. And so now it's that triangle again, but you can see that we've got a crease right here. So when I open it up, I can see I have an X in the middle. I've got lines going in both directions. All right, so I'm gonna fold it back down in the triangle. And the first thing I'm going to work on is these ears, okay? So I'm gonna take my paper about halfway across here, and I'm gonna fold it down. I like my ears to hang off, so I fold it that direction. It works really well. And so you can see now I have my two ears. If I wanted bigger ears, I could fold it in further. So once I have my ears, now I want to work on the nose part. And you'll see that for the nose, I'm folding twice. I fold it up a little triangle, and then I'm folding up again um, in that um, trapezoid. So here we go. Folding up for my triangle. That's my first fold. And now up for that trapezoid. Now when I get to this point, I just want to make sure that this fold is good all the way through this part here. So I'm kind of just pressing on that right where the nose is going to be. At this point, I get to decorate my dog. So I like to put a little nose on there, sometimes little spots for his whiskers. And then you open it and you make a nice long tongue. Then you're going to put some kind of eyes. They could be happy eyes or they could be angry eyes, however you want to do the eyes. And then sometimes I like to add some color on my ears. Now you'll notice that the dog I showed you earlier, I used crayon. So I used crayon and I used pink on his tongue, but you can do it with crayon or markers or pencils, whatever you have. Um, and here's my new dog and there he goes. Wait, I'm back where I can see you for a moment. And there's my dog and he can talk. He goes, oh, oh. Okay, now he's not working really well. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that my folds are good. Sometimes you'll have that problem too. So you want to make sure that your front fold and your back fold are really nice. And now, there he goes. All right, until next time.